Oh no, you've dented your pipe. What's a better solution to fix your dented two-stroke pipe? A hydroforce using water, definitely less dangerous, or heat and this eBay kit. Uh, quick answer, kind of both. Maybe one or the other sometimes. I'll show you what I mean. So if you're not familiar with Hydroforts, it's a pretty cool product. Uh, they're out of the UK, as you can see. You can buy just this piece from them and buy this sort of pump off of eBay if you don't want that shipped all the way over, assuming you're in North America. But what it does is it pressurizes way up to 700 PSI, which seems a bit scary, but if you lose pressure, basically water pours out. There are a few things to know about it. Uh, when you use the Hydroforce, it is 700 PSI. So if you have a pretty mangled pipe, you may create a pinhole along, typically along a weld. Um, another thing is when you put these end caps on, you don't wanna have your face over top of that. Yeah, it's just water pressure, but it can also shoot these off if they're not on tight enough. So for this pipe, it's not that badly dented, but the Hydroforce is a good tool to remove larger dents like this one. Now, a disadvantage of the Hydroforce, if you have a TPI pipe, those corrugated ones, you need kind of a jig for it to hold it in place or else it'll deform and you won't be able to get your, your ends on properly. I'd say all things considered, this pipe isn't that bad, but I'm gonna fix it up just cause I'm going on a trip and I'm resisting putting this freshie on. First up, you wanna give uh, both ends a good cleaning. Next up, fill your reservoir. Next, we'll attach the hose to the reservoir. And then, the other end onto the pipe, like so. Just hand tight, but decent, decently hand tight. Now, before you put this cap on, it's quicker just to fill the whole chamber with your uh, hose. Now that that's mostly full, the rest will be filled up from the reservoir there. We'll pop this end cap on. With a 27 mil socket, and you're saying I probably don't have those, but you probably do with this tool. Grab it with the provided larger wrench, I don't know, whatever you wanna call that, and tighten it down. This part's gotta be pretty tight. There we go. Next, remove the bleeder valve from the top and fill the rest of the expansion chamber from the reservoir down here. What you wanna do here is you wanna get rid of any uh, air bubbles that are trapped in here. So let it bleed out a bit like that. Pop it back in. I give the pipe a little shake. and then pop that back in. Now, making sure that these are pointing away from everybody in case they fly off, you're gonna pump this up until you see your dent magically disappear. And you might see the shape of the pipe adjust to its original form if it got deformed in a crash. Mine's not so bad. Starting to go a bit. Sometimes I bring in the hammer and tap the edges. So we're up to 400 PSI. Dent is almost gone. Yeah, a little more. Now the risk is if you have a really old pipe and you go too far, you could pop uh, a weld if it's been compromised by a crash. So I'll go a little more and then stop.
All right, that's 600 PSI. And the dent is pretty much gone. So I will release the pressure. Now you might be saying, what about the factory dent that is there to clear the radiator? This is where you get pretty technical. There you go. Now that hydroforce is great for all the big dents, but what if you want to get real cute and pretty um, with little guys like this? That is where the heat comes in. I've also done larger dents with the heat, it works pretty well. I did uh, this one previously with heat because it was uh, right on this seam and the hydroforce, I knew it wouldn't do uh, an amazing job right there. Since you're gonna be using heat, it's important that you remove these uh, rubber mounts and the O-rings uh, by the flange. You don't wanna melt that. So the air kit goes on in a similar way to the Hydroforce. Um, if you find one of these on eBay, make sure it has a um, gauge on it. I like to start uh, heating up and blowing out the pipe at about 60 PSI, and I don't like to get it over 80. Um, and if it does, it has this Schrader valve where you filled it up with air. Um, you can release the air pressure with that. Goes on like that. I like to tighten these up first. And then tighten these down. Not too tight, you don't want to uh, rip the rubber seal. So same thing for the other side. You just want to make sure that this metal piece sits below this lip. Now we're going to add some air. Um, it's a good idea to add some in, set it around 40 PSI and give it 30 seconds. See if the pressure drops. If it does, check your seals. So that's what I'm going to do now. There we go seems to be holding. All right, I got the pipe and a vise. The ends aren't pointing at anything that doesn't want to be killed. Um, you could put it on something else. Just remember it's gonna get really hot. Don't put it on a bunch of paper. Uh, and also safety. I always wear this mask when I'm doing this. You are using a blowtorch and heating up metal. Things could go flying. Hopefully not though. Last step with air is to fill it up to about 60. This is a tiny hole. Normally I wouldn't fix this, but for sake of uh, the demo, let's see if I can get it out. All right, that's done. I've released the air pressure out. I'd say that's almost perfect. Maybe 98% of the way, I would guess. Now, you're saying, what about that ugly mark? That looks like shit. I'd rather have a dent. That's where this comes in. Got my safety glasses back on. And there you have it. So between the Hydroforce and the eBay hot compressed air blowout kit, you can get your pipe, I'd say 95% of the way. As you can see, it's got a whole bunch of little scratches and dings from previous repair jobs, but nothing that affects the performance at all. And I was actually pretty pleased that it got rid of that small sort of notchy dent I did with the heat. I guess it was somewhere around here or there, I think. Obviously these weren't the biggest dents, as you can see here from Hydroforce's site, you can really bring back a totally destroyed pipe. And as you can see here from a professional uh, guy using heat, this guy's on Instagram, he's able to do wonders as well. But if you want to do it at home like me, buy those two kits. Um, it'll save you a lot of money in the long run. 
you'll be fixing lots of pipes if you're like me smashing into things but they'll be looking good and it doesn't take too long see you next time